Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it'd be fun to go through the process of creating a full screen HUD display using the user widget and the HUD message device. So to get started on this, just make sure you're on the project level content folder. And then what we're going to do is right click and we're going to go to user interface and go widget blueprint. It'll give you a choice between a user widget and a modal dialog variant. Basically, this ties to the HUD message device and this ties to the pop-up dialog device. And so there are kind of some differences between them. So, but we're just going to go ahead and go with the HUD message device, user widget. So we're going to double click into this and then we can dock it up top. So there's not as many features in this one as there are in the Unreal Engine version. But basically you have these panels, these two panels. This locks things down in a grid pattern and canvas panel is more freestyle so we'll just go with that and drag it onto the scene when it comes in we'll turn the scroll wheel and give ourselves some more space we're going to drag here and make sure this goes to 1920 by 1080 and then we can scroll in and if we right click we can move this around on this main area here we don't actually have that many options available to us but between images and text we can do quite a lot. We could build quite an extensive display if we wanted. So I'm just going to go through creating a very basic one. There's this name slot. Basically that allows us to bring in another user widget that we can attach something to. On this, to get started, let's say we want a background that takes up most of the screen. We can just get our image and drag it on here. Now you'll notice that it doesn't take up much space. But what we can do is come over here to anchors and click here and it makes the anchor points at the four corners and the reason it doesn't fill up is because there's all these offsets so we just have to set all these to zero and then it'll fill the screen so if we were to try to bring this in into fortnite right now we wouldn't see anything we wouldn't see this white background and that's because over here on image down here as draws it says draw as image but there's no image, so there's nothing for it to draw. But it's kind of misleading because it looks like something's there, but nothing's really there. So what we can do is just on image, we can set this to a solid box or a rounded box. A rounded box is kind of cool. And then what we can do is change the color of this and we can change it to black. Okay. So if we were to bring this in now, we'd have a complete a rounded black background like this. Now one thing that's kind of cool is down here on the RGB channel, on the tint, we can drop the opacity here and it makes gives it a slight see-through feel and sometimes that's a nice touch. So I'm just going to put that at 0.9, oops, not negative 0.9, just 0.9. There we go. So now we have a background. Then all we have to do is we can just drag in as much text as we want. So here we can bring in the text. And we can go ahead and set an anchor for this to the top center, but it's we can move it anywhere we want though, even though it's anchored. So here we can change the size of the font down here and just increase it to a nice size here. We can go ahead and go size to content. It really doesn't affect anything. And then we can change the color as well. And so I can just make this red if I want. And I could change the what it says. So I'm just going to say whatever you want the title to say is just say, you know, my display. So you can have this say whatever you want it to say. And then if you want more text, you just click here and drag more text in here. And you can have it say whatever you wanted. So this is my free text. And you can put quite a bit of text on here. And you could actually even make it kind of small so you could fit a lot on here. Now over here on the hierarchy, you can use this to select items in the scene and that's usually a good way to go. And so I could drop the, the font size down to one six and make it pretty small. So you could actually put in a lot of information on your screen here this way. Let's just go ahead and drag four images here into the four corners here. So let me, sh let me show you something here. So I'm going to drag an image here and place it on the corner. Now you notice we don't see it and that's because these, these widgets are in layers and they're, how it appears is determined by the Z order of the, of the item. So the higher the number, 
the the more it moves it to the top so here if i put a one on there you'll notice now we can see this but look this is this isn't going to show anything because it's set to draw image and we don't have an image so what we're going to do is just set that to a box and we'll leave that a white box but once this widget is set what we can do is simply go control d control d control d and we can make copies of this very simply and then we can like select that image here and sometimes it's hard to to grab it so what you can do is come over here on position X and move it this way. So that's the image one. Here's another image. So I can just, it's hard because they're all piled on top of each other. So just on the, the position X and Y, I can drag this over. See that? And sometimes this is an easier way to move stuff around. So, but because it, we made a copy of it, it has all the settings on it already. It's already set to draw as a box and stuff. So I can change this to, let's say I'm going to change this, give this just some other color and go OK. Then I'm going to select the image two. And over here on position, I'm going to move it down here. I'll come over here and move it here. And then I'll just move it on the Y down, like to there. And then I'm just going to change the color on that to, let's say, green and go OK. And then I'm going to grab this last one and clicking on its position over here and dragging. I'm just going to move it over here. And I, you have to do this because it's hard to select one when they're all on top of each other. So I'm just going to put these on the kind of what I think are the four corners roughly. And I'll change this one to another color, let's say blue or whatever, violet. Okay, so let's say that's basically my display and we're done. And I'm going to go compile and save. So now we want to see what this looks like. And this is going to come to a setting that is unique to Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So to display this, what we need to do is we need to get our HUD message device. So we're going to come to the HUD message device. I'll search for it here, right here. And we're going to drag it onto the scene. And it needs to be activated to display a message. So what we're going to do is show it on player spawner. I don't want two player spawners in there, so I'm going to delete one of those. Come back to the HUD message device. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to show it on player spawn. And then it'll automatically time out after so many seconds. Usually I think four or five seconds. Then the last thing we need to do is with that selected, come over here where it says HUD widget and we're just going to tie it to the new widget blueprint we created. Then all we have to do is launch the session and see what it looks like. And it's going to look weird. I'm leaving a setting off so that I can show you what that setting is. We're back and I'm going to hit start and see what this looks like. Now you see how it doesn't look like how it looked like on the user widget. We're going to go back into Unreal Editor here on the HUD message device. And there's a setting on it that we need to fix. So with the HUD message device selected, we come down here to placement and it says bottom center. What we're going to do is go to custom and change that to center full. Well, let's just go ahead and push the changes to be on the safe side. Okay, it looks like that went through. So now let's go and see what it looks like now. There, and you see how the four corners are set now? So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.